On today's episode of Watch Ergo, we work on the 2001 Volvo S60. What is going on guys? I am Watch Ergo and today we're here with my 2001 Volvo S60 2.4T, five cylinder, turbocharged, all the cool stuff. I can't wait to work on this and uh, we're going to basically go through the whole car in today's video and by the whole car I just mean stuff up front tons of the engine the struts the strut hardware all the things all the typical issues with these Volvos we're gonna try to knock it all out because I don't want to start it because we do know with the cam seals out of it it just fogs oil out of the engine it'll be all over the floor if we uh, drive it down there so I'm gonna push it all the way down the road or maybe tow it with the tracker where's my tow rope at There we go. No problemo. Well, that worked out real well. Yep. That is a big box. I have to give a lot of praise to Volvo for the size of this trunk. You can fit a lot of junk in it. How did you even get that in there, man? I, uh, I did a little tilting, but also FCP Euro sends you the correct Volvo sized box. Apparently. So we've been waiting a little while to get to work on the 2001 Volvo S60 that I paid $450 for. And a bunch of people were like, you're gonna lose on that. And I was like, how are we gonna lose? It's worth what, like three, $3,500? Uh, it just needs, you know, $18 in parts. Well, it turns out it's a common issue and it needs a lot of parts. To be exact, about $939 of parts. I have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, FCP Euro. They sent us everything. Wow. Everything for the car. And a shirt. Let me throw this bad boy on here. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is a comfy shirt. It's a nice looking shirt. I know, it's even got like a cool sewn in tag and all that. Oh yeah. Nice. Magic. And here we are with every Volvo part. I mean, it's all, we've got the, we've got it all. I, I can't even like explain how much stuff is actually here. Bump stops. Fuel injector O-rings, all of the fuel injector O-rings, because we do have to remove the injectors. Uh, this is the idler pulley for the timing belt. Uh, it's just, it goes on forever. These are all OEM right here. Uh, continental timing belt, uh, a water pump, and I mean, it's all the quality stuff too. Here are the new struts. These are the pliers for what? those factory clamps, you know? The, yes. Yeah, because uh, they sent all the factory clamps so we could put them back instead of changing them to uh, worm clamps. That is which is Yeah, that's actually really nice. So we've got this tool here, which I'm pretty excited to have. Never had one of these before. Oh, that's, that's pretty slick. Fancy. Anyway, uh, we've got the tool here to lock the cams so we don't have to retime the engine. That's kind of my hope there. Let's see how far into it we have to go. There's just all of the sauce here. Well, it's time to get to work on this Swedish masterpiece. Välkommen till Hoven. I don't know what that means. Welcome to the show. Let's let's work on this car. Think I reach that? Hey! There we go. Okay, so under the hood of this beast, we've been through all this on video once before just to kind of check out everything that was bad. And uh, I probably should have had them throw in hood struts because they seemed really fine, but now they seem a little less fine. Let's get to it, to it, to it, to it, to it. Here we go. Lonely Island, Michael Bolton. Have you, uh, you seen those Pirates of the Caribbean movies? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've seen those. Those are really good. We're going full NASCAR with this one, right? Yeah. Oh wait, I guess in Sweden it would be a touring car challenge, wouldn't it? No NASCAR here. Ah, oh, these are studs. I think it's uh, illegal to make left and right turns here. <laughs> There's no paint on these wheels. I'm not hurting anything. All right, let's slide that under there. Next. Whew. Is that the YouTube record? I don't know who he said he could do it faster. 
I doubt it. Is the bar slower? His tire changing slower. Man, these brakes look amazing. There's more brake lining on here than I've seen on anything else in my life. We're gonna go ahead and take the uh, ABS sensor wire out of here, which is just gently pulling until it comes out of its bracket right there. These strut boots are toast. Yep. Everything up in here is toast. I'm glad we're swapping it all. Gabe headed back to the shop to get us a 19 because we couldn't find a 19 wrench. But I'm going to try and loosen this up just a little bit with just the 18 side here. It seems like I was making pretty good progress there. I might be able to back it up with a crescent wrench while uh, we're waiting on tools there. But at least I've got it free. I just need to back up that nut. And then we're gonna take off these two bolts, of course. This bolt, that bolt. And then we have the three bolts up top and the strut can drop out. The sway bar link is off. That came right out. Uh, I did, I jacked the brake back up a little bit so that I could uh, take the stress off of it to slide it out. I didn't want to tear up the threads there. No point in boogering up any of the OEM components that are fine. Once I used the wrench to go ahead and loosen this up, seven eighths was close enough to pull off the 19. Uh, it's gonna be nice to do it with the correct tools, but as long as you loosen it with the metric tools, everything's okay and there's no chance of rounding anything off. Now the bottom one is quite a bit trickier to access. You honestly need a 18 mil socket. If you get in there from the bottom, put your box end on there and you have a 12 inch long wrench, it can be done. Once you're done with the two lower strut bolts, all you gotta do is throw your impact on here and uh, make sure it's in reverse. You got 13s up top. Run those out and come right off. Don't drop them. Do it one-handed and uh, try not to drop your nuts. I have new nuts for these two Volvo parts, brand new Volvo parts. That strut is out. And of course, I dropped the one I can't reach. There we go. Had to finagle the ABS sensor just a little bit there. Strut is out. Sweet. And now, like more cultured gentlemen, we have gloves because uh, now we don't have to wash our hands every time we touch this. It's all covered in oil and garbage. So uh, yeah, now our hands are gonna be clean. Here, let me grab that from you. I'll okay. give you this. And I'll take that. And uh, I'll take these. I'll take these here death machines. It's always cool to get out the death machine, you know. Okay, I got one side on. Uh, socket me. Socket. Thank you. Yes, sir. Impact. Okay. All right, she's chilling. Get these things about 180 degrees from each other here. I'd say we've about got that. That's as close to 180 as we're getting. Let's run it down. The ring's loose. Now that we're sufficiently into the most dangerous territory, you can pretty much be working on a car. Get this cap off the end here, and let's unscrew this thing. Uh, probably supposed to use a wrench. We're just gonna try to work fast with the impact and hope this works. Of course, the only thing we're really concerned about keeping here are the springs anyway. Correct. So, yeah. It doesn't matter if everything else is trash. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That is not the way to do it. Do not stick your hand in a compressed spring because it hurts when it comes back. And now we can slide this guy off here. Goes right there. And now we have to get this apart. Oh, man, that's tight. Try number two. We broke the old T nut loose with the uh, hammer. So now we should be able to drive this out in like 30 seconds. Yeah, there we go. It is disassembled. Okay, there's more trash. We know the T-net goes there. Mm -hmm. And pull this guy out. Keep the uh, danger machine. <laughs> danger! Danger! All right, Mystical, you got him. <laughs> Watch yourself! Do we have that piece? That does not appear to be part of it. There's a little wear on that guy. Oh, no. There it is. That goes oh, into... Oh, <laughs> it ripped itself apart. Uh, that's the problem right there. Okay, cool. All so right. We got that. So now we know. And then that goes there. And then there's the bump stop and the boot. The bump stop on that one is, I would say, junk. There's the boot. And we're ready to reverse. The much, much nicer Volvo bump stop and assembly here. So we're gonna slide that guy into its little tab until it starts to lock in. Do the same over here. That This all just sits in there so much nicer than that. Uh, it must have been aftermarket already. Uh, oh, oh yeah. rubber seat. Has a little retainers, give them a little tug, and it goes right in. Yeah. And then slide the death machine on there. 
We looked up what this part is. It says it's a bump stop support ring and the contour is the same as this contour. I think it goes right there and it holds the uh, boot on. So we're gonna go ahead and do this very much a one-time deal here. You're gonna have to squeeze and push really hard. Then we're gonna work the boot on here. Now the boot will never come off of the bump stop, which is kind of cool. That's uh, no need for. Yeah, before it definitely needed secured some way and that looks like a factory part just to secure the boot. So we have secured the boot and also the loot. Yeah, we've got threads. Yes, we do. Which means we can get the T-nut started, which should save us if this thing does explode. That's always a good sign. Pull this guy over until it lines up. There's a little stop for the spring. And there we go, we got it pulled over. Just go ahead and keep cranking this thing down. Put your impact in reverse. Grab that thing with your, with something that you can use to grab the T-nut securely. I think we're about all the way down. Either that or we're compressing the spring. We could run the spring compress for a little more. Obviously never, ever, ever do this with those springs facing you. Yeah. It's all the way down. We're gonna delete all this, but just uh, imagine four minutes of backing this off carefully. We have to save the uh, ABS wire clip. So let's get in here again. I brought a punch and we gotta drive out these two little bitty pins that are holding in these little plastic fasteners here. Okay, it's tough to show this on camera, but. Very light taps. Tap it out. Tap, tap, tap. Let's see where it right. Look at that. Just like that. Okay, so now get our new one over here. Line it up the same way and put the ABS magic back on the exact same side. There we go. And we'll reverse it. Just push these pins back in. And that should never come out. Awesome. All right, so we've got our T, what are we working here? T45, yeah, T45, and our box end wrench here. We're tightening down that end cap. Our strut is reassembled, ready to go on the car. Put the nut cap on here. I don't think it's coming off. I think we're ready to go. This thing is ready to drive around without clunking. Easy. You gotta kinda turn it until it lines up. Okay. On that case, just keep it, and I'm gonna throw some of these on there real quick just to hold it in place. We're gonna evenly tighten down the little bearing plate here. Get this thing sucked all up in here. Man, the whole strut tower like deforms for I the bearing plate. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. It's like, woo! That was. That bearing plate's a lot stronger than the strut tower. That was incredible. <laughs> We fought valiantly to get that bottom bolt in. We got it done. We compressed the spring a little bit so we could suck the strut back up in there. And then Gabe pushed down while I pulled like this and shoved that bolt in. We got it done. Now the top one should be easy, easy. Easy peasy. Easy. Okay, I was just kidding about the easy part. Well, easier than the bottom. It wants to start, but it's not quite there. Okay. There we go. Oh. We did it. Woohoo! And we'll back off our spring compressor now that we no longer need that. Your impact has never had a worse day in its life than when you run a spring compressor. This thing is on fire. We found something a little bit interesting when we came over here to do this side. We're getting ready to start on it and look at that brake line. They took the brake off, twisted it around and put it back on. Who on earth? Whoever did that definitely did not care about the driver's life because that's completely sketch. So we're gonna pop the caliper back off real quick, spin it around until it straightens back out, put it back on before we break all these bolts loose and put a bunch of stress on it. Gabe and I ran out for lunch real quick and we took the battery because the battery was, it wasn't doing very well inside this car. And I found out the sticker on it was May 2017 and it had an Everstart Max, which is the five year warranty monster from Walmart. So. We took it back to Walmart, it tested bad, and we got a new battery for free. I love it when flip cars come with free batteries. If you wanna see how to change a battery in a Volvo S60R, it's in the trunk. Bring it back here. It goes in this direction. 
just like so, positive on the uh, driver's side, negative on the passenger side. There goes our caps. Drop this guy down in there. You have to kind of fight the negative uh, cable out of the way. Once you've got the negative out of the way, slide the battery back, put the handle down. And then this is your battery clamp right here. It sits right there. Start it, it's a 13. Those are 13s too that hold the cover and uh, the battery terminals themselves are tens. Push the battery terminals all the way down on, crank down the tens, crank down the 13s, done and done. Brand new battery. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. We're going to uh, try to do this one as fast as possible and uh, it should be a lot of fun. We're going back to the NASCAR style. NASCAR standards, we know they don't have Volvos. Start the stopwatch. Here we go. Wait, it didn't start. Okay, it started. Here we go. <laughs> now I gotta get to work. Wrong way, huh? I'm not judging. That's one way to start off this competition. Yeah. Going the wrong way. Get this guy on here. So this sway bar end link is... Toast. I would say that's toasty. We, uh... Gonna have to find a replacement for that guy. Gotta love that. All right, that's, yeah, that speeds us up. Uh, that doesn't count anymore. We're taking that off the timer. And because obviously we have to drive across town to get a replacement, so that's gonna take a little bit. Hey, I don't think you're gonna make the NASCAR standard doing that. Yeah, so I decided not to, obviously. Those oh, are take your uh, ABS uh, sensor wires, work those out of the brackets carefully, just like that. Just kind of push on both sides. Don't break the wire. And you can remove just one, right? Uh, you gotta remove them both. Why both? Because uh, otherwise you don't have enough slack in the wire. Uh -huh. We're just gonna say this wasn't a rush job. This was kind of a like medium take your time kind of thing, right? I'm just wondering what Dale would say. Dale would say, no for Dale. It's more of a what Cletus would say, but that's okay. Okay, retained. Strap cut. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And doctor. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how this works? That's <laughs> we beat it to death for like five minutes there, but we got it done. There's the destroyed T nut because, of course, everything came apart inside this old bushings. That's all trash. We can get everything out now. Install our new strut. Much nicer, I will say. All right, then we can slide our boot down on here. A boot! My impact is real upset. It does not like this one bit. All the way down. Nice. It's dead. You have energy for me? We can recharge you. I apologize for that short interruption. Uh, the lithium battery on the drill went dead because I only charged them like, I hardly ever have to charge them, they last forever. So, uh, got a new battery on the impact and we are now ready to get back on it. We stopped the timer at 31 minutes. Just after the battery died, we took the coil spring compressors off by hand, which required two of us turning ratchets for a very long time. I highly recommend some sort of impact, battery powered impact, air impact, if you're gonna do that. But also, be careful, like I said, coil spring compressors, real dangerous. Let's see, all right, we'll rotate that direction. And up we go. All right, that was a pretty long parts run, mostly because we went and worked on the boat for a little while there. We didn't work on the boat, we played on it. Well, no, we got all the lights working. That's true. We did get the front lights working, we checked the mass light. We got So we know we got lights, and all we have left is like some few things to work out on the horns there. What's this say? Probably nothing important. This sway bar inlink didn't exactly look very healthy there. Let's see. I think it was done. So it's on. We're done with the suspension. It is on. Uh, so I think we're gonna leave the wheels off because we may have to jump uh, underneath the car a little bit because we have to spin the crank pulley and stuff like that while we're trying to, I'd like to get it to uh, TDC on one when we're getting ready to change this belt. But it's time to get busy on the real stuff. Uh, we've got to get the intake off. We gotta get this cover off. We gotta get the timing belt off. Gotta get the cam seals changed. So there's a lot to do and that was all gonna get done today, but now it's gonna get done tomorrow or the next Ish. day. 
the next video will be us wrapping this up. Thank you guys so much for watching our day where we put a bunch of parts on and then we went and bought a bunch more parts. Luckily, none of those were problems that we anticipated or uh, FCP Euro could have gotten done for us. But thank you so much, FCP Euro, for sending us all these parts and for all the support. Hit the links in the description below. Uh, I'll put all of the parts in there for this whole build. It's a huge list. And if you need any of it, I'll try to separate it by what job was what. So you can just click through the links and buy everything at once. Uh, and maybe if you don't feel like buying a spring compressor, I know they have the Sax uh, Quick Strut. I think it's a lot cooler with the Volvo parts. So you can go whichever route you want with that. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please, like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. And on the next episode, you can watch as we finish up the rest of this, what we thought was a one-day project. It's I find it especially interesting that every time we do something, it always...